What's up, YouTube? What's going on, guys? We have a very special guest today. Yeah. Um, we have a friend. Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> Also known as what is it the blue col at? blue collar Barbie? Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> so you want to give a little, just a little introduction on yeah, yourself. Yeah, on yourself, pretty much. Um, I'm Lindsay. <laughs> 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 I never done this before. Um, uh, I'm a fabricator, uh, a welder. Um, I'm in the car community. Are you are you in a club? I am. I'm in okay. K Five Nation. K Five okay. Nation. Cool. Okay. Shout yeah. out K Five Nation. Yeah, for sure. Okay, um, so touching back, we'll get we'll start at the beginning. So, what got you into fabricating? How'd you start on that? Because you could have like uh, we just did my episode on cruising with Cresty, and you could have chose any car that you really wanted to, ch any route you really wanted to go, and you went with the K five. Well, it's a Jimmy, yeah. But you went with like, what would that so, even be? It's a truck, kind of. It's a beach truck. Beach, beach, beach truck. truck? Yeah, okay. I guess. So what made you go it's that route? It's a Barbie route? beach truck. It's a Barbie <laughs> beach truck with the pearl, with the pink pearl. Yeah. Um, so what made you go that route? Um, well, ever since I was a kid, I've always liked trucks. Okay. I've always been kind of like a tomboy, pretty tomboy, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um, and it's so weird. Like, I saw this movie once. It's mm -hmm. called Fool's Russian, and it's with Selma Hayek. And... She's a total badass in the movie. And there's a scene in the movie where, like, the dude breaks up with her or, or something. And she's driving back from Mexico. Okay. And she's got a, a patina, beat up, badass Jimmy with okay. the top down. And there's, like, a song playing. And the scene is just, like, I remember seeing it as a kid. And I was, like, I want that truck. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> that is there. so badass. And it's a totally random movie. But I it just stuck with me forever and so uh when i finally decided to or when i finally had the money to um buy a truck uh a friend of mine helped me and at first i thought i wanted a bronco Ford. <laughs> <You're> right <laughs> god no no don't disrespect. tell anybody i said that my first my first truck was a ford 100 so no no disrespect to the ford ford's um, out there so a friend of mine convinced me that I wanted a K5 and I was like, okay, yeah, for sure. I definitely do. And then he found me this and it was, it was, it was in okay condition. Mm -hmm. Um, it needed a lot of work. There was a lot of rust and he was, a um, he worked at a shop and he, uh, was a fabricator or welder. <laughs> um, but uh, he was like, yeah, I'll help you. We will restore it, you know, just buy the welder and we can do it all at, at the house. Mm -hmm. And I was like, OK, right on. Um, that didn't work out. So he sort of left me hanging with this truck that was kind of beat up. And I didn't know anything about cars. I didn't even know what a fender was. Right. And I was like, you know what? Can I say fuck on you? You could cuss. I was oh, like, we you could know say what? Fuck that fuck dude. Want. Fuck yeah. that dude. And I'm going to fucking show him and everybody who thought I was crazy for buying this that I'm not. So I went to a shop that had done some work on my other cars. Okay. And, um, and I was like, you should give me a job. And they were like... Well, have do you know anything like, about cars? Experience? Like, yeah. Yeah, do you know how to like? And I was like, nope, I don't know shit. But I'm a fast learner. And they were like, okay. <laughs> really? That's and I was cool. like, all right, whatever. So I started working there. I was cleaning the floors. You know, I painted the 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 attic. Like I did all the bitch work. You know. No, and yeah. then And then a few months in, I was like, I need help with this truck that I have. Mm. And they were like. Okay, bring it in. So I brought it in, and look and that, they look at that liberal right there. And that's <laughs> <laughs> fucking done with you. <laughs> His other car is a Ford. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <His other car. laughs> it's his only car. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so yeah, so uh, we worked at a deal where I mean I pretty much worked there for free and gave him a little bit. Uh, well, not a little. I gave them some money, but they helped me restore the whole thing pretty much to where it's at now. To at least there's now. still a lot of work that I need to do on mm -hmm. it that I want to do on it. But um, they helped me get it drivable. Um, 
you know, I got new, new, uh, side panels, new doors. Uh, I welded the bullet holes that were in the yeah, tail tailgate. That off um, nice. <laughs> that's, and so then that's where I, I first ever welded. Was your and tailgate on your, was my floors and on my tailgate. Oh, okay. Um, and I, and I liked it and I was like, this is badass. And, and I, and I, I loved dirty work mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I like the, the labor of mm -hmm. it. Like I feel like my body feels like I actually fucking did something yeah, that like day. Yeah, good oh, okay. satisfaction. Right? Yeah, for it's sure. For after. sure. Um, so I was like, I, I want to keep doing this. And so I, uh, I met a lot of people in the car community, um, okay. you know, through my truck and, and going to, sh to shows like Donut Derelicts and, and now the Quarantine Cruise. Yeah. And I have a, a, so many amazing people in my life mm -hmm. now that still help me, that have helped me. I've been extremely lucky and very grateful um, to have some really amazing friends. And now my... My whole, I mean, I used to be a bookkeeper, like, and okay, a tweaker. So, okay, that's that's like, what we need to, Yeah, I mean, like, and now I, well, like, well, my well, whole life is cars in the car community. Mm -hmm. Like, I totally did, like, a, 180, yeah, yeah, totally. Hell yeah. Um, damn, that's crazy. So, you went from bookkeeper to fabricator, basically. Well, there's, there's probably a few stories in between there, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you want to touch on, um. We'll keep it at the truck just for right now. So I think you learned a lesson there in the beginning that, you know, once you purchase one of these vehicles, it's you're going to. It's a commitment for it's, sure. It's a commitment. You're locked in and mm -hmm. it's going to leave you stranded. Yeah. You're going to not be able to drive it for. Yeah. Classic car, classic problems. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think you learned the golden rule and you've been in. I, I feel like you've if you learn what you learned. So eventually one day, if you're taking your car to the shop and you keep getting reluctant, you rely on taking your car to a shop. This is a lesson that I learned myself, too. You're going to have that day where either you picked it up and you take it home. And, you know, you when you get comfortable taking your car to the shop, you'll pick it up and take it home. And where I learned my lesson was on an oil change. And I just thought, OK, yeah, got lazy, didn't stop doing them. Learn my lesson on oil change. I ran maybe about two miles. I look at my, my oil pressure, no oil pressure. I'm like, what the fuck? I look in the engine bay, oil everywhere. They oh, forgot man. to screw down the cap. And I was like, damn. So I feel like when you do get like dicked a couple times, yeah, it makes you step back and you're like, all right, at the end of the day, this is my car. And if I want to learn more about it, I got to start getting my hands dirty. And I yeah. feel like that's how yeah. you... You or know if you get you're screwed in the like financially, like, so, like a lot of people don't know There's how much things cost yeah, or how much sure. they should yeah. cost, and next thing you know, you're like way down in the hole financially with it, and where you may not have needed to be. Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. And then that that comes with you know making connections and meeting people mm -hmm. and people giving you advice. You know that comes with it too. You know sometimes like when you're fresh and in a hobby you know you're just going in you probably don't have friends that know about it or for whatever. sure so that 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 kind of like helps out too you know once you get in like say you say how you got the the, the truck then you started meeting other people yeah and you're pretty sure there you start networking communicating and then oh well i know this i know that yeah and yeah that like as well like after i left that shop that i was working at and we got it to a point where you know the body was done and everything and running mm -hmm. soon after that it, it died on me <laughs> so i w and i couldn't go back to that shop so then you know like i said i i had met all these friends and new people and one of my very very good friends Paige rad he has a shop rad rides and i still go there for to him for help sometimes mm -hmm. um and they they hooked me up and you know they didn't fuck me over mm -hmm. and you know it, it's definitely important and especially when you own or when you're so attached to your car, yeah. you know, and you've put like, like I put my whole heart and soul, blood, sweat, tears, blood, <laughs> sweat, tears into oh, yeah. my truck, you yeah. know? So it, it's my life almost. And, um, 
having somebody that I know that isn't going to fuck me over or, or, you know, give me the runaround and that knows how much I care about my truck yeah. and, and respects that and, and genuinely wants to help is like invaluable. Yeah. yeah. You know, so shout out to rad rides. There you go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it all just comes with time. I feel like you're going to get in the beginning, you're going to get screwed. You're going to, mm -hmm. you're going to pay the yeah, price. You're going to learn gonna, the lesson. Yeah. Gonna, who's good at yeah. this, who's yeah. good at that. And, and it comes to like, I, I told people, I don't mind paying a little bit extra for service or whatever when I have that reassurance of knowing sure. that they're going to do a good job. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm not that type of guy like, oh, I can save 300 bucks if I go to this guy. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, well, I'm not you, sure. You, you, know? you pay for what you, you, you get, get what you, know? you pay for. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. 100%. So that's why I tell people for quality shit. That's why like when you have friends that do certain jobs, like, I don't mind paying their full price. Yeah, oh, just because sure. I'm your friend, you give me the friend hookup. No, yeah. it's not like that. You know, mm -hmm. you learned a trade or whatever, and you paid for it. So then I pay you what you fucking ask for everyone else. Mm -hmm. you know? It's just how it should be, too. For sure. Yeah. So there's that. Um, <laughs> you said you had a story to tell. You said that yeah. you went through it, and your your life was before becoming. I don't want to call you the blue collar Barbie, but that's your insta handle. Um, <laughs> You said before going that it wasn't it wasn't all cupcakes and unicorns. You went you went through it a little bit, right? Fuck yeah, I did. I mean, so I don't know what how much you want to touch on that. The mic's yours. Whatever I mean, you want to share. I mean, I'm an open book. Whatever you want to know, I'll so, tell you. Because it kind of it kind of <laughs> it kind of sounds like, in a way, that brought you into a whole different chapter of your life and gave you an kind of like a, a reboot in a way. This system. truck saved my life. And that and that's what I, I was getting at. I, this I mean, truck I can't saved say my that. Life. You can say that for yourself. You know what I mean? So yeah. Um, this truck saved my life. It gave me purpose. It gave me a new career. It gave me direction. It gave me a reason to be sober. I'm sober. Um, yeah. I've been sober since April of last year, so a little over a year now. Okay, congratulations. Thank yeah. you. Um, I. I mean, it's a really long story, but my, I was married. Um, my husband was killed in 2016. He was hit on his motorcycle, oh, shit. uh, on his way to church. And, uh, we were married for a year and a couple of weeks uh, when he died. And, um, after he died, uh, I lost my self my my way of life i i i lost a lot of family i lost a lot of friends death and money really bring out people's true colors oh yeah and oh, yeah. um i didn't just lose my husband i lost a lot of things um so i i I numbed myself. I smoked meth for six, a little over six years, every single day. I, I slept with a fucking pipe under my pillow. I slept with it in my hand when I slept. Um, I was in a, I was a bookkeeper and I did accounting, uh, financial planning. Um, I lived in LA at the time. Okay. Um, and I worked at like five different firms in in five years or so, and and none of them ever knew. That's what I was gonna ask you. So you, I could I don't I don't know how to call whatever you know you a were a functional tweaker. <laughs> so that's, that's what I was. So, so you sure. were able yeah. to to do your shit and then go to work and then I got promotions. I oh, I went to work shit. every day. I you know, and then after work I would go home and you know project out on my on my house i rebuilt my house that that i uh that i bought um mm -hmm. and then flipped it uh but i was not living i was existing mm -hmm. as best as i could i guess but um yeah i smoked meth in the bathroom at work on my break at lunch um i smoked in the car on the way to work on the way to my parents' house. Like, I was never not. I don't even know. I, there was a point where I stopped getting high uh -huh. and I just needed to get normal. Like, oh, shit. I just so couldn't. That was just like your normal state. Yeah, so it was like it, a cup of coffee. Yeah. So then at, at that point, was it like, 
were you not even was it not even numbing or filling the void that you had was it just kind of just keeping you alive it was just at that point? keeping me yeah it was just keeping me able to function it was keeping me able to get through the responsibilities that i that i had so that i could pay my bills so that i could feed my dogs mm-hmm. so that i could keep everybody away enough uh-huh uh also so that I didn't have to deal with anybody. Because did really. they know what was going on? Did they know you were... I mean, my family knew, but there was nothing they could do, you know? There was nothing they could do. I didn't rely on them financially, you know? I I, I still showed up for, you know, family dinners, whatever. Uh-huh. I mean, I didn't stay long, but <laughs> I showed up. Um, but, you know... I, and I didn't have, like, tons of friends, you know? Like... Because I just worked, and then, I mean, I had a few. But everybody in my life, besides, like, in my career, nobody Mm -hmm. in my career really knew. But I didn't care. I didn't – I wasn't trying to hide it. Mm -hmm. I didn't – I didn't care. Yeah. You know? And it was just – I – how did it start? Would you mind? Could we get into that? Like, how did it? Like, I understand that you, okay, you lost your husband. Yeah. You know, and that's your world. That's a big commitment to make to somebody to spend the rest of your life together. Mm-hmm. And then you just, ha- like, once he passed away, did it, did it, was it, like, did you start drinking and then, like, just automatically? Did someone introduce it to oh, you? No. Yeah, how did, did that happen? Well, well, I had how, a- do you, how do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, and again, you don't have to answer these no, questions. No, it's yeah. cool. Just- I mean, I had a gnarly past before I met my husband, to be honest. I had already been through seven rehabs. Oh. I, like, I think I went into my first, I tried to kill myself about five or six times. Like, I had already gotten sober once before, was sober for two years, then relapsed, had a plethora of gnarly, abusive boyfriends and relationships. There was one time, I think I was like 22, maybe. No, I wasn't even 21 because I couldn't even legally drink yet. I was dating some drug dealer in Hollywood and... He wanted me to move some shit for him from Hollywood and take it to Malibu. So I was like, okay, whatever. I was going to get free drugs out of it. Fine. So I had a forerunner at the time. And you know the forerunner, and it wasn't tinted. So it's like a fishbowl. Yeah. So I had all this shit in the back. I had all this shit in the back. And I'm, I'm an idiot thinking... I'm fine, yeah, whatever. What yeah, like no big deal. Like I'll, it's just like a 20 minute drive. So I start driving uh, from Hollywood to, to Malibu. And when you get over by like UCLA area, yeah, we- those th- there's only two lanes there yeah. on Sunset. And I come up to a checkpoint. And I'm like, oh shit. Like oh a DUI God. checkpoint? Yeah. Oh shit. And they're stopping everybody. And there's and there's no lanes and there's nowhere to turn, turn off. Yeah, yeah. Like you're, oh, you're <laughs> I was I was I had no escape. So I'm like, oh my god. So were you drinking or anything at that no, point? No, I wasn't. I don't. I I mean, I may have been. I don't even remember. <laughs> but I had a pounds of cocaine in oh, the back shit. of my Forerunner, that was and I was like, concerned. what yeah, the you know. fuck? <laughs> but, but yeah, I was make, like, I don't care if I get a DUI. <laughs> just don't send me to prison. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm like. This was the first time, I think, in my years-long career of shenanigans, I guess, Mm -hmm. um, that I was like, oh, my God. Like, I could could get in really big trouble. Yeah. Like... Where you kind of thought, I'm like, I I I shouldn't probably be doing this, right? I have totally fucked up, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I just start bawling, crying. I'm bawling, crying, whatever, and I'm, there's nothing I can do. So I, I pull up, and the cop comes up to me, up to my window, and I'm like, eh, you know, trying to, like, hold it together. I'm not. Mm-hmm. And he goes, oh, honey, what's wrong? And I'm like, I, I'm lost. I don't know which way Hollywood is. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I said that, but it just came out of my mouth. And he goes, oh, well, you're just go- you're going the wrong way. Like, it's up sunset the other way. Here, let me stop traffic. Just make a U-turn and go Holy go back the other way. Shit. And I'm like, okay. This cop stopped traffic on Sunset Boulevard for me to make an illegal U-turn in the 
not even like, and then I, and after that, I took that, I took the drugs back to my dealer and I gave them back to him and then he beat the shit out of me. What? But, Fuck. And then, but then I was like, I'm not doing that again. Damn. But then I did. (laughs) (laughs) I promise not to, but and actually after that I was so like I hadn't been I hadn't been home like to my to my mom's house because my mom lived in LA. My dad um already lived down here in Orange County Mm -hmm. and um I hadn't seen my mom in in a little bit or whatever and and I was like ashamed I didn't want to go home so I ended up sleeping in a dumpster for a few days just because it was warm and safe and nobody really goes into the dumpster, you know, yeah. whatever. So, and then finally I, I, I got a hold of my mom and she picked me up at the bus stop and her and my sister like pretty much had to like nurse me back to health uh-huh. on the couch. And that was pretty gnarly. I think I went to rehab after that. One of the rehabs I went to. I've been to seven, about six, maybe. But crazy. I mean, honestly, I don't. You asked where it started. Yeah, I don't yeah. know where it started, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I. Well, no, because I thought I was. I. It wasn't it. one thing mm-hmm. that made me go off and running. It was like I partied in high school. Mm-hmm. I I got away with a lot of shit. You know, uh-huh. I'm a chick. I I. Use that to my advantage yeah, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I won't lie. Um, you know, like I, I'm not stupid either. I have a degree yeah. in psychology. You okay, know, yeah. like I went to college. Mm-hmm. Um, I, it wasn't one thing. It was just you know a lot of gnarly shit happened to me. Just a weird road that you just yeah. Well, no, because I, I was under the assumption that that was the first time that you know you just went to just, no. Just, so I oh, okay. So so it started back like. Back when you I mean, got I started smoking school. cigarettes when I was 11 years old, I think. Okay. okay. You know, and then, like, I got I got in trouble. I think I was 11, too. I was in, like, the seventh grade or something. Me and my friends, like, went into my mom's um, uh, freezer, and there was a bottle of gin. And I was like, let's drink it. So we, dr- <laughs> so we all drank it. And then I was like, okay, we have to make it look like we didn't drink it. So we fucking filled it, it up, up with water, water and yeah. put it back Classic in the freezer. Move. And my mom's like hello, what's this? And I'm like, oh, it's all frozen. Yeah, it was totally frozen. I was like, dumbass. I mean, you probably shouldn't know that alcohol doesn't freeze. Right. You know, I love it too, right? All I knew <laughs> was that it would get me fucked up. <laughs> That's so, I mean, I guess sh- it started way back then, maybe. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so what would you say would, was like your rock bottom that helped you? Get sober? Yeah. Well, uh, I was dating somebody um, who I really cared about, mm-hmm. um, and he had a daughter who I really cared about, mm-hmm. and um, I moved in with them, and you know, played house yeah. and mom and you know, girlfriend and um, and we, for the most part, it was a it was a good life, but I was still sort of struggling. I di- I didn't. I hadn't didn't have the truck yet. Um, you know, I didn't really have any direction. I didn't have a job. It was right after, kind of right after COVID, sort of, okay. mm-hmm. um, or maybe a year later. But it was like you know, it was still hard to kind of find a job. I didn't yeah. know what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do accounting or bookkeeping anymore. I had moved down here from LA, um, and so I kept relapsing. I was trying to get sober because I wanted to be with him. I wanted. I wanted to be with her, um, but I don't, something was just still, I just didn't love myself Mm -hmm. enough, I think. Um, And, and so I I kept relapsing and then um, there were maybe like two, two like events where I, I got drunk or something and. And then there was a night I, I got drunk and I crashed my Super 73 and I broke two ribs and I thought I popped an implant and I got a really gnarly concussion and he was like, that's, that's it. it. Uh. You're out. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, I live here uh-huh. now. And and 
I went to my dad's house that night, stayed there, and the next day, all of my shit was in the driveway. Everything. All my jewelry. Like, everything. He just thrown it in the driveway. So I had to get a friend and help me take it all back to, to my house. And and then I went on a pretty, pretty gnarly run for, like, two weeks after that. I got really fucked up. And then I started hearing voices mm. and... And when I started hearing voices, I was like, okay, this shit's not working anymore. It's not numbing me. It's making me go insane. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I was like, if I ever want to see him or her again, I for real got to get sober. Mm -hmm. And so quite honestly, they were the biggest motivation at first for me to okay. get sober was the hope that I could have that back because that's all I really ever wanted was, you know, like my own little family and mm -hmm. to be loved. And, mm -hmm. but through all that, when he didn't let me come back, when I, he didn't let me see her ever again, pretty much. Um, mm -hmm. I had to learn how to love myself mm -hmm. and how to be enough for myself and, and, and like the truck was a big part of that. Like I, I needed to find purpose and I needed to find, I needed to do esteemable acts in order to, to have self-esteem again. And mm -hmm. I needed to, to work, you know, on something that I was proud of and, and. You wanted to have something to show for, you, how can I say it? You're looking you didn't fill a void, but you found purpose. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, I think, I don't know, maybe for, for me, maybe there will always be some void mm -hmm. of some sort. You know, I've had a lot of loss and a lot of trauma in my life. And I don't know, you know, people say time heals. I don't know if it heals. It just... Scabs. It's just, it's just time. Yeah. yeah. You know? I feel like it scabs up whatever yeah. you got going on. Yeah. It's still there. You'll never forget about it. But. For sure. For sure. And and life doesn't fucking stop for anybody. No, it doesn't, no matter no. what. It, it's crazy because, like, if you hear, like, you know, things happen to everyone, but, you know, no one else gives a fuck. Yep. Yeah. You know? Life just keeps going on. Yeah. And then you have to deal with it, you know? Right. It's, it sucks, you know, but it's life. Well, yeah. even if people do give a fuck, yeah. like... There's only so much every other people can do for you anyway. Yeah, of course. And if and you you can only help somebody if they want help. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I for a long time didn't want help and mm -hmm. I didn't want I didn't want people to care about me because yeah. I probably because I didn't care about myself, I think, you mm -hmm. know? And so that's how I got this tattoo. Love yourself then save yourself because that's what I had to do. Yeah. Fucking gnarly. Yeah. Crazy good good story but you know uh it's good because you know you found something and now this is showing like your what's that saying fruits of your labor yeah you know, pretty yeah much. so now that's and then what, what what did they say too like oh get your kids into classic cars and then they won't have enough money for drugs and shit because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all their money hey, man. Right. i just yeah. told somebody that the other day man i told i told uh uh i was sending out uh videos of my of my uh my podcast and uh, one guy hit me back up, and he's like, "Oh yeah, um, my kid's graduating right now. I'll I'll, uh, I'll check it out when I get home." And I was like, "Okay, you didn't need to text me. You just enjoy your, right. your child's graduation." <laughs> and I was just like, "All right, cool." I just text him back. I'm like, "Yeah, make sure he, he uh, you get him a shit box, so that way it makes waking up in the morning a lot easier. Because you know you have an outlet of where you you know make yeah. you get up and make yeah. you want to work because." Yeah. As you know, yeah. this shit's not cheap. Right. If you want something, you got to work for it. And you know, like I've I've been lucky in my in my life that, you know, I've I've never, you know, I grew up fairly privileged and and my parents were always cared about me, you know, whatever, but you know, I've worked my ass off to 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 get that truck and mm -hmm. to get that truck to where it's at and 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 nobody helped me like financially you know mm -hmm. like there's people look at me sometimes or, or used to look at me and be like oh just a pr pretty white rich girl whatever but that's not the case like just because like i didn't grow up in like 
a gnarly neighborhood or whatever. Like yeah. I still fucking grew up gnarly, you know, like different problems. Different. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it's like just because you take the easy way, you know, I, I won't touch too much on my my history back in the day. But just because you take the easy way, you take the easy way. It's just as easy to get it taken away. For you sure. take the hard way, you know, you you work for whatever you're doing. Nobody yeah. could take it away from you. That's you know what, what I, mean? I always say. Like, anything worth having is worth working for. Yeah. You yeah. know? That and easy. you'll appreciate it way more. Exactly. Because it's easy to make those drops. It's easy to make, you know, that, that little side money hustle. You know, that mm-hmm. it's easy to do that stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's just as easy to get pinched and just as easy for all your hard work to get taken away. Because the sure, IRS yeah. don't give a fuck how you right. got that. I can, they can, they'll take anything. For sure. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> for it sure. It's gone. They'll take first and ask questions later. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, I mean, I think that's 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 a very important output to put. And that's why we, we try to, like I said, we want to have everybody on this show because, like I said, like, you gave your story. Mm-hmm. Different upbringing mm-hmm. than, you know, a lot of us. You, yeah. know, maybe, you know, maybe you had stuff we didn't have, but yeah. you still had the problems that a lot of people face yeah. just in a different way. You know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. I mean, substance abuse, stuff like that. That that happens to doesn't matter where yeah, you come it from. Happens yeah, everywhere. Rich, poor. Drugs don't discriminate. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. They definitely don't discriminate. They're fucking easy to get. Yeah. <laughs> A lot fucking easier to get than if you were to drink and stuff like that. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's yeah. just it's mm-hmm. accessible. And I feel like if you come from a like you know just from going to parties in different areas. Stuff's easier to get, I would think, mm-hmm. in a, you know, coming from, did you grow up in L.A., you said? I grew or, up in, or, in, I grew up in L.A., and then uh, I moved in with my dad for high school. I went to high school in Orange County, in Huntington. Okay. And yeah. then, and then after high school, I moved back to L.A., and then I moved back down here right after COVID, like right after, or when, right when it started or whatever. I so, remember, I, shit, dude, I remember going to a party with uh, a couple of my buddies in high school. And we went to a party in OC. Mm-hmm. That was the first time that I'd ever seen cocaine. And I was like, damn, like that, that's, that was heavy for me. Cause like, you know, flour, that's, yeah, that's fucking, it's normal. The, yeah. that's normal. normal. That's like a yeah. cigarette, right? Yeah. You, know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> you go over here, I'm like, damn, like that's like, that's what was in Scarface. Like, that's <laughs> fucking real. Like, that's real. And he's chopping it up in the living room. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, fuck. That's and my how bo- I felt uh, the first time I saw heroin and like needles. I was like, whoa bro this is that's yeah. gnarly See, you know, like, yeah, now we're getting real like whoa yeah and i was like holy shit and then you know people like it was normal like yeah. it was just fucking like i was like whoa i'm like i'm telling my boy i'm like hey man i'm trying to get the fuck out of here this ain't yeah. my kind of party bro and he's like no nah, it's cool it's cool i'm like i don't know if it's cool bro right. <laughs> I'm, looking, sure out and shit. I'm like i don't know I'm, I'm straight yeah but like i feel like that's that's the thing it's like you know you can't judge a book by yeah, by its kind cover, of. that's like fucking rule number one. Rule know? number one, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people. I mean, not a lot of people know uh, my full story. Your full story. Because uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm not ashamed. I'll tell anybody whatever you mm-hmm. know. Because that's. It's just. It's me. It's what's made me me. But you know, how would they know? Look at me now. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought. thought, Honestly, never would have fucking thought. You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought maybe like okay, like you know, you you look at your Instagram and stuff, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, you 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 got into fabrication. You know what I mean? And I I think in just as a as a gearhead, as as you know, a car owner myself, it's just Mm -hmm. like, oh, you know, she took the next step, and that's that's why I thought it'd be cool to bring you on the show because you took the next step, and then you went that much further to do it yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, fuck yeah, I I never. It didn't even pass my mind to think about like people like helping you out because of just I was like okay I see you welding all the time so it's like all right cool like you you did it yourself you mm-hmm. built it yourself you you know not even thinking anybody like handed out anything to you because that's just the way I look at the car scene and mm-hmm. you know maybe some people don't have that same perspective but that's 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 what I thought I thought all right cool maybe she just got tired of being uh, fucked around doing, by shops <laughs> doing whatever and then she 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 did the work herself. I never thought anything about you going through it as hard as you. You said your story was gnarly. I was like, I'm, I'm in shock right here. Yeah, you know let's see. I mean? <laughs> How gnarly you go? Well, that's okay. pretty fucking gnarly. That's pretty fucking gnarly. <laughs> but no, at the end of the day, I mean, you fuck whatever. Fuck the haters. I always say yeah. that shit too. You know, it's like 
You can't. I mean, there's always going to be haters. You know, there's do you always. Do get it? Do you get? Do you get? Fuck yeah! Are you <laughs> was, kidding we'll, me? We'll step into that. What? What? I mean, it's shit. a chick in the car scene, dude. It's like it's number one. Everyone's gonna. Fucking I mean, hate, I have man. dudes and chicks. Like, yeah. you know what though? I, I have to. I, there are haters, but for the most part, there. I've gotten a, a lot of support, and yeah. I've been pleasantly surprised by how many. Men and women, you know, send me messages or or comments or or whatever, saying like how how badass I am and like how they uh, I'm inspiring and I'm like, really? Me? You know? Yeah, me? like me. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, really, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> but then, uh, and I will say this: you started off, like you said, you mentioned Donut Derelicts. Yeah. Now I will say this: Donut Derelicts is is. Cause that's where I started to go to shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. Cause that's what my dad always talked about. Because his buddy was going to Donut Derelicts. You go meet early in the morning and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, I started to go there. I feel like people always say, like, oh, you probably get a lot of haters over there. I have never ran into any. Everybody is yeah. so fucking cool yeah. over there at that meet. Yeah. And it's everybody. They, You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, for sure. Everybody. I didn't. And, and fucking not to get into that shit too much, but it's like. They don't see color down there. It's just fucking mm-hmm. car people who chop it up. Yeah. I they only know you by your car anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I got in the Surf City Classics and yeah. all that. You know, they invited me out to, to um, freaking a, uh, I forget the, the bar, oh, the bar and grill that they do a meet on Sunday mornings uh, in Seal Beach. I don't okay. know the name of it. It's right around the corner from, uh, from Main Street in Seal Beach. Okay. They invited me down there, and then they invited me to Garden Grove, and then that's when I started hanging cool. around with the club and got yeah. got in the club. Yeah. But over there, I had no issues, no issues. I come to Redondo Beach, man. I went to Ruby's <laughs> issues? first yeah. day, man. We're already really? all starting shit. I'm like, <laughs> okay, like <laughs> totally different. And everybody wants to shit on the OC, right? Yeah. Like, oh, blah blah blah, dude. I haven't felt no disrespect. Yeah. In Orange County at all, they welcome you with open arms. Yeah. If you're a car guy. They keep it to yeah. the car shit. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't leave from there. For sure. You come over here, no ah, disrespect on, to Ruiz, but fuck, man, it's it's a whole nother vibe. It's a whole nother vibe. <laughs> yeah. And this is closer to me, so I'm like, right. oh, cool. I'll I'll start rolling over here. Fucking like three weeks in a row, there's like issues. I'm already feeling like, all right, I can't go there by myself. Right. <laughs> well, that's. I mean, the the community, the car community in Orange County, Huntington. You know, it's it's like I said, like it's become my whole life. Like. I have the best friends, everybody, like, even when I first started coming around, I never got any hate, really, ever. Mm-hmm. I just love, and, and like, Donut Derelicts and, and the Quarantine Crews. Quarantine Crews, yeah. Like, those, those people are my people now, mm-hmm. you know? Like, those are some of my best friends and have had my back through some shitty situations Mm -hmm. lately especially Mm -hmm. so um i'm super grateful i feel very lucky um and you know it's like i said it it's it's given me purpose yeah you know so okay no 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 trolling i'm sure you don't get trolled in real life at any of these shows because like i said orange county's cool but where do you get trolled? Do you get trolled online? Is that oh, when yeah. you started when you People started a game? Because you started to gain some traction. You got some followers on Instagram. What are you at? Almost 10K? No. I or like I think I've seven? almost 8,000. No, that's oh, almost 10K. We're at like 100. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> so there, you know. Oh, almost 8,000. That's a big, you know what I mean? Like, that's a flex. I, I, that's an accomplishment. Yeah. You should, <laughs> I mean, you should be proud. I, like I said, I don't know. If, well, I mean, it. I mean, I had this, all right, so I had this other Instagram that um, I used to work with this company. I kind of don't even want to mention their name. I you won't. Have you don't have to mention their yeah. name. Yeah, but they encouraged and um, coerced is, is strong. I used to post some shit that I would not post now if you feel me okay um i want to be taken seriously in the auto industry i want to be respected Mm -hmm. as a hard worker and a 
woman that knows her shit and doesn't just stand half naked up against a car. Okay. Or in her, lay on her bed mm-hmm. half naked, whatever. So, I never really got sh- shit for that stuff specifically, but I started realizing the kind of people that were interacting with me um, and the kind of the of people that weren't, that I wanted to interact with. And so I decided to totally, I wanted to change the way I presented myself and, mm-hmm. and the way I didn't want people to, and the way people thought of me. Yeah. And so I, I totally stopped using that Instagram and I started this one. Mm-hmm. So I've only had this Instagram since like December or January. So the fact that I've gotten 8,000 followers in in, yeah, a, few in months, a few months. Oh, that's come pretty, on. I mean, it's a flex. That's a flex. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I, and you ain't out here, like like you said, you're not out here like some of these people that Jesse right. was mentioning the other uh, yeah, day. I mean, like, like, no, <laughs> not, no disrespect yeah, to them no, or whatever. No. That's yeah. cool. You hey, know your thing. Yeah. Well, here's yeah. the thing. Like me being a guy, you know what I mean? I, I scroll on Instagram. I see some like half naked chick. Oh, cool. She hot. Let right. me see what she about. Oh, shit. She's into cars. She's into bikes. Cool. You know, yeah. that's one avenue to fucking yeah. gain some traction and gain followers. And, you know, yeah. with more followers you have, you have more like sponsorships, things like that. Cool. Well, I get it. It's th- a business. That's the thing, you know? though. That's that's another big reason why I I started to reevaluate the way that people were seeing me or the way I was presenting myself is because I don't want to limit myself to the sponsors yeah. that, okay. that I could have yeah. Yeah. or the partnerships yeah, yeah. that I could no. have. Yeah. And some, you know, n- again, no disrespect to other women who who do that or, or, or go whatever, that go that yeah, avenue. avenue. Yeah. But, you like, know, I, I want to be like a Jesse Combs. Okay. You know, I want to be a badass fabricator who who is seen for her work and, and and not and not only hired or only, you know, whatever for her body yeah. or, yeah, yeah, or yeah, the no, way no, she whatever. looks, no. you know, like I I mean, you can be both, you yeah. know, like, I, but it's, it's, I was talking about this shit with a friend the other day too. It's a very fine line it is, and it's it not is, straight it yeah. nope. and it's not straight. Nope. It goes like this. So it, it's a job in itself trying to kind of balance out like, is this too sexy? Is this yeah. like, you know, like too, what would, yeah. what would, you know, like a big name sponsor think of this? Would they not want to work with me if they saw this, you yeah. know? And so like, there's a lot of shit that you got to take into account when, when you're, God, I, did, I was almost called myself a public figure. I'm not yeah, a public yeah. figure. Yeah. But- Influencer. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, it, it's a it's it's a good idea but to have because true. once you put something on the it, internet, man, you can take it down forever. in a minute, but it's nah, fucking there. Them trolls are them trolls are yeah, quick on quick the screenshot. Yeah. yeah, shit lives forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It really so, does. What? I I decided to uh, not go that route. That route. Spe- you know, like I don't have an OnlyFans. I never have. Okay. Okay. I I, I hopefully never will. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, again. <laughs> I mean, I don't until, have an OnlyFans. Until, 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 until they make the category for just chicks welding. Yeah, right. 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 Um, but you know, like I, I care. You know, and the community that I'm in, also, it's a very family based community. It is. It know? really is. And yeah. this, and these people have become my family. You mm-hmm. know, like I have. Uh, This family, they go by family cruisers, you know, they're a family and they have two daughters, they have a son on the way, and they have become some of my very closest friends. And, you know, like, they don't judge anything either. But that's, those are the kind of people that I want to to hang out with and and be be close with with, and be surrounded by because they, that, that family, especially in particular, that they have shown me so much love and so much support. Mm -hmm. And, and I mean, even even like Dylan, Rockin' Cruise 55 on Instagram, he's 12 years old. He has 30 something thousand followers. OK, and and he's become, he's like a nephew to me. Like, mm-hmm. I love that kid, you know, and it's like this this. Com- I just really can't express how much love and how important my relationships have become in this community and. And 
the way that I carry myself, I hope, and and the way that I portray myself, I hope, like, you know, I'm still a woman. Yeah, I still mm-hmm. like to be sexy here and yeah. there, whatever. Yeah, I know. And that, and but it, yeah, but you know, I try to keep in mind who's who's watching and and yeah. what my what is my motive my goal. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, my goal is not to be a porn star mm-hmm. or have an OnlyFans. My goal yeah. is to build yeah. things and be good at it mm-hmm. and have people want to work with me and want to sponsor me and respect me for that. You and know, take like, you serious as a fabricator. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Not right. a pinup who holds a fucking I could 70, be that, like that with a fucking you know what I mean? Yeah. And that that's 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 what I respected too. Uh, you could see it. You could see it in your in on your gram and like I said, not talking before this just looking at your shit you could tell like okay this chick wants to be respected in the car community Mm -hmm. as a fabricator yeah you know what i mean yeah and she keeps it at the same rate to like you could tell like okay you still want to show because i have two sisters you still want to show that you're feminine yeah because in the end you want to inspire i don't know what you want to do as far as like because you're putting it on social media you do want to try to inspire to like you said yeah uh your your friends who have two daughters right you want to make it yeah. Known that yes, you can be, you can be a woman, a you woman, can be pretty, you can be and you can still be and, a badass, and you can yeah. still, yeah, exactly. Because like I said, I mean, you can go full fucking tomboy, mm-hmm. but then at the end of the day, you're only, you're in that box, you're in that yeah, box. You know what I mean? I feel yeah. like you're, like you said, it's a fine line that you gotta right. weave between to yeah. be feminine and be wanting to be taken serious as a fabricator right. as well. Definitely. And I see that. I mean, you're you're on the right track. I can I can say that. You know Thank you. I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And you're, you're like going to you're taking classes, right? Oh yeah. To, to well, I'm in fabrication like- school. I'm I go to the fab school right now. I have a couple months left. Um, that school is super badass. So yeah, yeah so I'm loving cool. it. Yeah, that's really, we like to push trades too as well because we're in trades, mm-hmm. and and I think that's pretty badass because like I took metal shop in high school, so we learned about like bending metal and using yeah. lathes and all yeah. that shit and i think that's like such a cool cool avenue to take too because it's not just academics that yeah. you know that we can do and, and and go to school and succeed you know right. we have all these trades well, we it's, have hundreds yeah. of them you it's, know? it's learning skills that you can apply not only on cars but, but in so many different in everyday area, areas everyday areas life. everyday life yeah. and skills that you actually will use you know in in your life you know like i'm sorry but like when have I ever used like not gnarly calculus shit? Yeah, I mean we're not trying to be. I mean I've used math and fabrication for sure, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean. But but and and what's stupid to me too is like why why don't they teach you how to do your taxes in high school? Like uh, everybody has to know that. No, and yeah. There's so many yeah. people that have no idea how to do their tax. Like there's it's, people that still don't know. How old are you? You still don't know how to do your fucking taxes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All I know is like you sign on to TurboTax and yeah, just put, right? put this in this box and then it prints it out for you. Yeah. No, yeah, and then <laughs> that is why I tell people too, man. Dude, we're so focused on many other things when we should be focused on like yeah things like that that help. And it pretty much helps the fucking world go around. You know, what are you gonna yeah. do without a fucking AC guy in, right in here? What are you gonna do without a plumber? Or yeah. what are you gonna do if like the world does? crash down and 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 you're on your own yeah, and it's no like we're back to no yeah nothing, we're back man. to we're square back. one and you don't have any yeah, skills back to you don't have you don't know how to make a tool or to you know build a, oh, some sort going, of shelter she's going apocalypto for the yeah, back, 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 back <laughs> over here yeah. fashion but for real yeah. <laughs> she's a blacksmith that's what you're saying that shit yeah like, <laughs> like you never know yeah, man I'd be fucked I'm gonna tell you right now <laughs> <laughs> stick with me kids stick with me <laughs> Tell my lady we're going to Lindsay's pad, man. <laughs> She's got all kinds of gnarly weapons over there. God, but no. we have guns. Yeah, yeah. we don't have no ammo. Right. <laughs> we and like, out. You know, it, it's it's like the basic basic things. Like you know, some and some of these people in these trades, they also don't really get that much respect. Like plumbers, yeah. for example, like that people consider that a nasty, gross dirty, job. Dirty, whatever. But dirty guess guys what? You don't want to do that job, no way. so you better respect that dude oh, because yeah. and that's why you that's pay them a, heavily. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, exactly. You know, we, we, exactly. We're gonna interview. Um, we got a company that we work with at work, and they got two. Uh, it's a family company, family-run company. Two brothers, mm-hmm. and I always talk to the other brother. Like, yeah, and he's like, 
yeah, well, do you know why we make what we make? I'm like, yeah, kind of. Like, I get it. You guys are... He's like, no. Because people always fucking get mad. Like, so I'm like, hey, you don't have to yell at me, bro. I, I'm in the trade, too. Like, we yeah. have to do light... Pl- we do yeah. everything where we're at. So, it's like... I'm like, ah, I get it. And he's like, nah, but these people, man, they, they get all mad. They're like, you know, why why do I have to pay this 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 amount? He's like, you know why you have to pay this amount? Because I have to touch your shit. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I have to worry about if this shit splashes on me, yeah. if my head fucking, you know, I'm taking the risk. Fucking, yeah. You know, yeah. if it's going to work or whatever, you know, yeah. like, I have to worry about if I get cut doing some shit like this. And, and I I'm had to pay it. to learn how to do this. That yeah. too. Yeah. Well. yeah. Tools, everything, yeah. you know, it's. Right. I don't know. People are quick to fucking react when they see bills and shit. I'm like, whoa, what's yeah, this? yeah, like, yeah. If, like them bringing the jetter to the to the facility the other day. They got to buy diesel for the engine that's on that hydro jet. They have to, you know, fill mm-hmm. up with the chemical that goes in there with yeah, the water, water, and so they have to tow it. They have to drive it there. It's like all kinds of these things factor in that people don't fucking realize, and mm-hmm. it's like, well, fucking diesel's like almost seven dollars. Right. Seven dollars, so. man. That's oh. why they charge what they charge. Right, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, man. I, I I don't know when it got lost where trades became fucking low class. Like I don't understand that shit to begin I, with. You know, I I do think that maybe it's just because I'm more in that world now. I mm-hmm. do see that it's starting to become more respected though. Yeah, you know why? Because of TikTok and Instagram, and now all of a sudden it's cool that you're recording yourself working on an AC box on the roof and shit. Oh, yeah, or a construction worker. Or a construction worker. That's when that that whole kind of thing flipped. If you notice, too, it's a lot of younger Latinos who are doing the fucking, you know. And no disrespect, like, just because that's what pops up on my feed, maybe. But it's like, at that time, too, it's like, I never... When it, I know when I was going to school, it wasn't cool that you were going to trade tech. It's like, oh, right. you're going yeah. to LA trade tech. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm going to LA trade tech. Like, what's what's the deal? Like, oh, what are you gonna learn there? Like, I always got the fucking. Yeah, I always got all that shit up until I fucking well, got my apprenticeship program, and then then they start seeing the fucking. Oh, like he's got two cars now. No. Oh, right. he's, yeah. oh, well, what, what do you do? I'm like, I'm a motherfucking me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly, hundred yeah. percent. And yeah. then, and I never like, yeah, like, okay, I'll say like, yeah, I'm an operating engineer, but not. Nah, I'm a fucking maintenance man. Yeah. That's what I am. Yeah. Over fucking paid maintenance man. <laughs> yeah. That you know what I mean. We have to carry certain certs to become to get where we're at. But yeah. at the end of the day, we made. What we know work for us. And mm-hmm. if you are good at something that it I'm I can say like it goes to show you. I wanna say good, you're okay. I'm okay, <laughs> dog. Um, if you're decent at something, <laughs> you're decent at something. Bullshit your way yeah. out of something. I bullshit my way to the top. <laughs> um, if you're decent at something, you can you'll you'll find where it's where to start your starting point and you're yeah, not gonna make no money at the beginning look you're even not. if you're not decent at something if you have passion and drive yeah. and, and and dedication and motivation you can be anything you want to be mm-hmm. yeah. and you can and be great at it yeah, yeah. that's tr- very true very true you know you don't you don't have i mean like i told you you don't have to really like something to be good at it too you mm-hmm. know what i mean and then you can use that fuel to fucking do other stuff as well because mm-hmm. you know? I, I say i don't really like love what i do but i'm just good i'm good yeah. at it you know so that helps me fucking okay i funds so i can buy another bike right. i can fucking buy another guitar you know what i mean yeah and that's what's like that's how i justify myself like yeah i don't really like what i'm doing but it's okay and i'm fine well, and it's I can still work you know like my my husband used to always say this and it stuck with me forever he used to say we don't we don't live to work we work to live mm-hmm. yeah so you know if you love your job and you love your work, that's a plus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know what? It's not, that's not, you know, the main focus in life. You and know? He, and he's, he's getting he's getting out of pocket with this. He <laughs> likes what he does. To an extent, <laughs> he extent, likes what he because does. Because it's easy. But, uh, and, and at the same time, he likes what he does. Because I'm sure if he fucking hated it, he wouldn't be like, fuck yeah, this. I'm going to look for something up. else. I'm going to look for something else. I'm going to look for something else. I just else. deal with it, you know? Money's nah, good. Yeah, <laughs> money's good. <laughs> that's, what, that's what helps me fucking go with it. I'm like, yeah, money's good. It's easy. I used to do this shit for fucking 20 bucks before. Why not get paid this much to fucking do it, you know? Yeah. That's how I, I look at it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like what I do. It's not... I like that it's not the same thing every day. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. So that's, that's where it fits in. To my category. Yeah, we don't have a fucking routine. That, and I think that's very, like, a good 
good point to have in like any work that you do if there's like a fucking schedule every single day and you're doing the same thing every single day it just gets so mundane that pretty sure that's why people lose passion and that's like the other yeah. thing with this clown he'd get lazy and get tired of what he does because he picks up a hobby for like a fucking day and then drops it all of a sudden <laughs> so it's like this is perfect for him. He was made for this shit. Right? That's normal, though. <laughs> he was made for this shit. He doesn't have to go in and, oh, I got to do this shit again today. Yeah. No, it's going to be like, oh, what the fuck are we doing today? It's always a fucking mystery. Right. But, no, that's dope. Um, anything else you want to mention? What do you got going on? Um, what do you got coming up? Um, well, we got Brothers Truck Show tomorrow. Where's that at? Uh, Canyon Oak. I forget. Canyon Oak, Oak Canyon? Oak Canyon. Something like that, Something right? like yeah, that. Okay. I don't know. That. I got to check with the crew. They're, yeah, they're the, I'm following them. So the, that, whole, that the whole Cake 5 Nation crew is going to go. Um, that'll be dope. And then next weekend, we got the quarantine cruise. Okay, cool. Uh, and then, you know, every Saturday, we got donuts. Although I didn't go this morning. I feel bad, but... Man, I had to wash my hair that to come here. <laughs> you know, hey, that one's rough. You, I mean, and I remember my dad when we first started going to that one. It's like, fuck, bro, you're trying to go at like five. If in I the didn't morning? live so close, uh-huh. I might not make it every week. But I live so close that it's like, those are my, those are my people. That's my fam. So no, yeah, I feel, I, I feel you. But my, my, my dad's one of those guys, man. I want to see him roll in, like fuck, bro, five in the morning. <laughs> yeah. There's only like a couple rolling in right now. Right. You know what I mean? No, 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 we got to be there. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> that's dedication that's fucking funny. but okay so you got quarantine cruise next weekend we'll be there um oh cool hopefully we'll be able to cover your your truck for cruising with Cressy. that'd be a good yeah a good for sure yeah out. definitely that's a sick cruise and it's early enough we will make it back to work and stuff oh, cool. cool yeah so right on that'll, that'll be dope yeah and then uh we got that uh jujitsu tournament today right oh yeah hey, uh hey, submissive hey. seven so seven we'll be out there that. tonight uh the city of commerce uh commerce casino uh shout out to mc poncho yep. uh shout out to michael for hooking us up with the table tonight so mm-hmm. that'd, be, that'd be cool and um then, uh, the viclaso show oh yeah we got tomorrow uh, too, right yeah that's tomorrow too yeah so we'll be going to that as well museum so we'll do of, a little yeah museum of latin american arts something like that in long beach and then we'll be doing a little video kind of just showing around there's gonna be like art and bikes and i think a bunch of actors i think danny trejo will be there bunch of guys from the Mayans TV show so that'll, that'll be something we'll be posting up to as well and uh, that's pretty much it that's what we got going on on our schedule right yeah and then, uh, you got yeah. anything else got any last school, any words? school work car shows <laughs> that's my life okay cool. that's it yeah. well we appreciate you coming yeah, out thank you for having me yeah, yeah thank you <laughs> and, uh, probably don't come down to this area very yeah, much yeah right, right? <laughs> I've been here a few times Really? <laughs> that's what people say. Yeah, that's what people say. They've never been here before. I've been here a few times. <laughs> Actually, everybody that his his shop is in here, uh, Wilmington area somewhere. Cruisewell, you know, Christian. Oh, Christian yeah. Cruisewell. Yeah. 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 His, I think he's in Carson. He was. He grew up in P. Or he lived in Pedro for a bit. In Carson. And yeah. yeah. I went to the. I went to that Halloween party at his at his shop. That was a good time. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, she knows. She, yeah, she's been, she's been, been, she's been around. Right. Okay, we, <laughs> we, we, we believe you now. <laughs> I reject my. <laughs> yeah, right? Cool. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, right there. Go ahead and like, subscribe, leave us some comments, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate you. Right. Cruising Later. with Krusty. <laughs> cool. How'd you like that? That was cool.